2,600 years ago, on this holy land, the land upon which the Great One, the Lord Buddha, discovered true happiness or the way to escape suffering that everyone had been searching for. Although thousands of years may have passed, the deep respect and admiration Indian people had for the Lord Buddha had never lessened. Whenever they see monks donning the traditional robe similar to what the Lord Buddha once wore, the citizens would offer their highest respect by bowing down to those monks without any thoughts of what the ground may be like. A shining ray of peace is illuminating the hearts of the people of India, the land of Buddhahood. On this year's Visakha Busha Day, thousands of people gather to commemorate three significant events. The day of the Lord Buddha's birth, enlightenment, and attainment of Nibbana at India's third international Visa cut lanterns for World Peace Ceremony. Jointly organized by the Dhammagaya Foundation of Thailand, Samanwe Pratishtan Organization, and Honorable Baban Rao Bashputi. The enthusiastic reception the members of the Dhammagaya Foundation received upon their arrival to India is a testament of the passion that the locals have for Buddhism. The team was greeted with warmth and hospitality by every house they visited in order to inform the neighborhood about the upcoming events. All due to the simple reasons that we are all Buddhists alike and that we honor the same Lord Buddha. This only reminds us that Buddhism really is like a big extended family that sees no boundaries. Even former minister, Mr. Ramdas, Arto Vale, who is normally engaged with his various responsibilities, came out to welcome us, demonstrating to the importance of this auspicious event that is to take place in less than 24 hours. The devotion that these faithful volunteers have for the Lord Buddha as they tirelessly got on and off the van promoting the event to go canvas the neighborhood, informing and encouraging locals to come join Visa Kapusha will only inspire and motivate Buddhists all over the world. In the time of the promo, uh, promoting the program, we, we never thought anything to we are thirsty, we are hungry. We just saw uh, some area, we just walk, we, we continually I speak on the mic, uh, continually we walk on the way uh, home to home and we distribute the browsers to invite them to join this ceremony. And they feel very happy when, when they uh, hear about the ceremony and they told us to, they will join this ceremony. As preparations were underway at Sargate Field, a famous landmark in Tarne and the site of this year's ceremony, there were many volunteers who traveled great distances from city like Narkpur and the district of Balagat in order to come help prepare the venue. It will take uh, 15, uh, 16, 000, uh, 16 hours from my place and uh, it will take uh, by, by train we are coming here. 
and I just came here uh, for Vishakha Puja Day program and uh, I have uh, I just came here with uh, 32 volunteers and uh, every everyone is uh, doing working very well and every uh, every volunteers is very good now here. ये सम्राट पेपर में आया था इसका न्यूज़ चार पांच दिन से चालू है इसके वजह से इधर आए मैं इतना अच्छा लग रहा था कब जाते हैं पांच कब कितने कब बसते हैं और कब इधर आते हैं ऐसा लग रहा था कब देखता है वो सागत गौतम बुद्ध की जयंती है I am really happy and today is Bodh Purnima and some, some beautiful event is going to place here that I want to witness and that's why I came over here and I will get some new aspirations to lead my life on the path of Lord Buddha. Finally, in the evening of May 6, 2012, the moment that everyone was waiting for had arrived. The commencement of Visakha Bucha Day, or internationally recognized as Visak Day, that evening, Thousands of Indian people congregated to commemorate the light of wisdom that the Lord Buddha brought to humankind on this sacred land 2,600 years ago. Then a message of peace from the most venerable Pratyabhyan Mahamuni to all the Indian people and guests participating in this ceremony was read. After which, candles, representing the torch of brightness, from the Lord Buddha's Dhamma were lit and illuminated the entire Sargate field. The sight of thousands of floating lanterns brilliantly lighting the night sky also had an equivalent effect of sparkling the hearts of those in attendance. The light of Dhamma from this special occasion assures us that the Lord Buddha's teaching attained through his enlightenment will flourish once again from this holy land and lead to peace in this world. And the day will come that the whole world will follow the one religion that is Buddhist. I would like to thank the Makaya Foundation who have come from Thailand to India for enjoying and celebrating the Buddha Jayanti. And this is the huge occasion and uh, 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 fantastic. And we are proud that uh, we belong to the land where Buddha was born. And also we belong to a land which has given the message of peace to the world. And I think in this uh, century, especially 21st century, at the age of conflict, the message of Buddha is the only way 
for humanity to live in peace and uh, abhor violence. So I appeal to all our citizens to abhor violence and follow the path of Buddha. Tonight, the Indian community joyously took part in this auspicious event to follow in the footsteps of the Lord Buddha and to practice meditation to attain true happiness. Thus, creating a wonderfully peaceful atmosphere enjoyed by everyone regardless of class, nationality, or religion. A very busy life in Mumbai, a city like Mumbai. We can't get time to uh, ourselves uh, for our mind, our soul. And uh, I think meditation helps a lot to uh, purify your mind and your soul. Uh, I, I like this event very much. And when uh, you light the lamp and uh, when you meet your soul, uh, it's a pure journey to uh, meet the Buddha, meet uh, soul. And uh, I like this event very much. India, yeah. When, uh, uh, when, uh, Sanandi comes, uh, and uh, and uh, and uh, and and uh, 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 and मेरे साथ तकरीबन तकरीबन 30 वॉलेंटियर्स को साथ में साथ में लेकर आया हूं और ये 30 वॉलेंटियर जिनको बुद्ध धम्म से बहुत ज्यादा लगाव है दिस इज द थर्ड ईयर दैट इंडिया हैज विटनेस इंटरनेशनल कैंडल लाइट फेस्टिवल फॉर वर्ल्ड पीस इट वाज अ वेरी नाइस फीलिंग बिकॉज़ दिस ईयर इन इंडिया नॉट ओनली बुद्धिस्ट बट नॉन बुद्धिस्ट पीपल आल्सो पार्टिसिपेटेड इन दिस इवेंट द पार्टिसिपेंट्स वर आल्सो वेरी हैप्पी and when we released the sky lanterns, we could see the happiness on everyone's face. It was an amazing feeling. Everyone was so happy. Everyone was proud that the event was took place in Thane. It's a very nice feeling, and hope so. This goes on, and our message of peace goes to the world. And our intention to make the whole world a place to live for our next generation. It has been very beautifully and very well organizedly done over here. We are thankful to Dhammakaya Foundation to give us this opportunity to organize the function in Thane, in India, the land of Buddha. I'm sure the people from Thane will appreciate the whole event. And today, from this function, through the meditation, they have achieved an inner peace, a peace for their soul, peace for their inner heart. And this message of inner peace from them will surely spread throughout Thane and from Thane throughout Maharashtra and from Maharashtra throughout India. The brilliant lanterns sparkle the hearts and spirit of these Indian people, coupled with the fact that they were born in the country that the Lord Buddha spent time teaching his Dhamma, made them feel even closer to the Lord Buddha. The strength of their faith shown in tonight's event will be the stimulus that will lead the Indian people back to such activities as observing the precepts, chanting, and meditating until they attain the Dhammagaya, an internal knowledge waiting to be discovered and thus restored the light of Buddhism that once shone radiantly during the time of the Lord Buddha.